Hi everyone, Allison here for Black Cat Scraps. This is a the fourth video of the four-part series, um, October 31st. Happy Halloween, Lulu. This card is made for Karen Alloy's daughter, Lulu. Karen is the channel owner of Spricket24. If you haven't watched her videos, it's a must. That girl is hilarious. I love you, Karen. <laughs> so this is a 5 by 7 card that I have marked halfway point. And I'm taking a spider web stamp and I'm lining the edge up right along that line. And I'm going to make a full web here by lining up the other side of this stamp right on that line. And I'm going to do this on the other side on the same line I had drawn. And I'm using Colorbox Dragonfly Black Pigment Ink. And I'm just going to stamp these webs all over the page and then I'm also going to do the spiders as well and the stamps are from the Inka Dinka Do's All Hallows Eve and the cardstock is from Recollections and I'm having a little fun instead of having my normal um, cutters mat on there I have some powdered paper for the fun of it okay and I have some embossing powder that I had sprinkled all over it this is clear with glitter and I'm using my heat tool to set it And I was actually trying to make the card without using any embossing powder. I had stamped all that ink on there and tried to let it dry for a couple minutes, but it just, it was not working. So I was like, let's put a little bit of embossing powder on there. Wherever it sticks, that's cool. I was surprised the entire page was covered in embossing powder with all the ink. So I was like, okay, well then the whole page is going to be embossed with black. It worked out. It looks great. So... Alright, so if you remember the die cut we made from videos 1 and 2, I used um, the black for video 3. So here is the vellum outline, and I'm filling in October 31st with the positive out, um, cutout from the black cardstock we used in video 1 using our slice as a stamp of a jig. So I'm gluing all these down with uh, Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive just right on the vellum and then I'm gonna go ahead and stick my vellum down now with the same adhesive stuff works great and I'm not gonna get the the edges of the frame I'm gonna use some craft glue for that um, typically you can see any kind of glue that you do on vellum so I'm trying to spread it as evenly as possible and it's actually working out better as it, the vellum is sticking to the card pretty flat so you can actually see the images a lot better so and surprisingly enough you can't really see the glue so it worked out so I'm tacking the corners down as best I can and here I have Martha Stewart craft bat punches I'm filling in one per corner I'm just using craft glue to put them down Okay, and these little black cats are from Recollections, and I'm going to use two of them. They're just so cute. I just fell in love with them and had to buy them. I'm thinking about going back and getting more. Shh, don't tell my husband. <laughs> so I'm using these cute little stickers. And I'm going to do this, this trick here with some ribbon. I've got a strip of double-sided um, super sticky tape. And I'm just going to crumple up my ribbon along this sticky tape. Um, just randomly so it has this nice little crinkly effect so I'm going to pull the backing off and instead of just sticking it directly to the card I want to um, make sure that it sticks I'm not sure how well the tape will do on ribbon so I just want to make sure so I'm using some craft glue as well and I have this bump a little larger than I was expecting so I'm going to make sure that bump is uh, flattened out a little bit more. This cute stamp set is from Inka Dinka Doo's Doodle Alphabet and all the Halloween stamps that I've been using are also from Inka Dinka Doo's All Hallows Eve. And I'm going to use my Versamark and I've got a black cardstock here from Recollections and this is size four by four and a half.
Okay, and then the letters that I chose from the Doodle alphabet is L and U. And uh, this card is for Lulu. This is Karen's daughter. So I'm just going to stamp the first part. And then I'm going to repeat it. So I'm going to make sure that they'll fit. Those, those testing out where they would sit. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp it one more time. These letters are so cute. I'm very glad I got them. They had just arrived like the day before I started making this card. Alright, and I'm going to use American Crafts Zing. This is, um, I call it neon pink. So that's what we'll call it. And I'm going to heat set it. Very cool on, on black cardstock. Alright, and now I've got another sheet of vellum here. It's, this is 6 and 5 eighths by 4 and 3 eighths. And I'm going to stamp on the spider webs again. And if your image doesn't fully go, you just kind of line it up best you can and push it down. So I'm checking this, see how the image will fit, see what I need to fill in. So I'm just going to do all the corners with the this web stamp. use part of the web to fill in the little gaps here. Okay, and I'm going to stick it down. This is the same side I stamped on. Alright, and then I wanted to have a little less orange in this card it's on the inside, so I have a um, black cardstock here is six and three quarters by four and seven eighths. Right, and I'm adding some pink textured cardstock at the bottom here to make the bats pop a little more. And to incorporate the embossing powder. And I have some brads from recollections that I had stuck through just the cardstock, but I want it to have through the entire card because it was popping up under that first layer. So now that I'm doing it through the entire card, I have to find a way to cover up the back just because it's... I had done these little... this is ribbon and I had cut those ribbon just like that and I kinda wanted to use them so I came up with this idea. I'm gonna stick them down with some more Tombow Mono. And the last thing I'm going to do is sign the back of the card and write a little message. It says, Handmade for Lulu by Allison Hayek. I love how I write my name. It's so cool. <laughs> Sorry. And October 2010. Woo! Alright. So the card is finished. I'm so proud of it. I've taken tons of pictures because I am going to send it to Karen and Lulu. Um, thumbs up for Spricket24. That's her channel on YouTube. And here's a little bit of my daughter here. She's three and a half. Subscribe. Okay, and I wanted to say um, how much I admire Karen for being a a mama and working from home doing the computer thing it's very tough and I admire that thanks so much for watching please rate subscribe and comment on the video thanks bye see you later catch you next time it's a kitty